Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your loving hip hop Miami season one, episode four. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, Shay versus Gabby, and pleasure being in the middle. Shay, you embarrassed yourself again. You might have got this time, but you lost the second time you got into a battle. So, Shay. I guess you love getting embarrassed, Tom. Huh? I don't know what it is about you and letting these shows embarrass you. You didn't got embarrassed again all over again. You didn't got all embarrassed again. Yeah, you might have thrown the ice cream on the girl. Yes, it was funny how I stuck down her face and slid down her face, but at what cause? This ain't no better. This ain't no better when Scrappy did this to your ass, and yet you on a brand new series on the damn arm um, opener, and you're still getting played a fool for. Shay, please find your inner help and please press it, cause it, it you ought to be ashamed of yourself letting Mona embarrass you on two shows, one sitcom, two series, and she ain't embarrass you on both them. Shay, I have nothing for you at all. I have no sympathy for you. I have no fuck for you. You best to get what you deserve, and I think this all you good for fighting, talking shit, and using that mouth of yours as a comeback. When somebody insults you, you got you got a comeback. I guess that's all you good for, because I don't know what else you good for. I don't see no pop-up clothing line like 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 y'all normally do, no damn boutique where they come out with, or oh, they love to come out with a damn shoe line or hairline or some type of line for a season. We ain't seen you do that. So, what are you good for, get, um, Shay? Besides being a fool, making a fool out of yourself. That's all I want to know. Where's your self worth? I mean, you so used to fighting and getting the upper hand and embarrassing bitches. You got embarrassed by an old ass woman with a fucked up face. Did you really think you and um you and other Betty Betty um Betty Betty were gonna win that? You at this man event a fashion show. Did you really think you was gonna win? Grandma did, as you call it, Grandma did you right. Grabbed you by your hat and dragged you. God, you would have did that to my daughter. Throwing, the girl wasn't even much involved in it, and you throwing the stuff so hard, the stuff getting all on the daughter. And of course the mama going to see red and going to grab you by your hair. You getting dragged so by the security, and then here she come dragging you out even more. Talk about, I'm going to get you, Grandma. Mm-hmm. Gabby, you wasn't expecting that when they get embarrassed, huh? You so used to winning and you so wish you so used to getting your way with your mouth and your insults that you weren't expecting Grandma Nikki to come pull that hair, was you? Come give you a little tug like, hello, bitch, I see you. Hello, bitch. It's funny how she came and just yanked you by your head. Talk about, I'm, I'm going to get you, Grandma. I'm going to get you, Grandma Nikki. I bet you were trying to hurry and put that wig on your head now, wasn't you? Mm -hmm. You got what you deserve, and I ain't got nothing for you, Shay. Just like a rerun all over for you again. And what's that chick name? Not Prince girlfriend name. I ain't forgot the hell for name. Mid talk, I didn't forgot her. What, what, mm, what's her damn name? Liz, yes, Prince is a dog. Yes, you did the right thing by throwing his shit out. Even bleached his damn shit. So you was going to bring his stuff, bleach it at his little fashion show, and basically try to embarrass him by only embarrassing your ass. Really? You didn't stalk the man. You didn't harass the man. Now you bringing the clothes. You didn't bleach it. Talking about putting them out. Liz, now nah, I thought you was happy you was done and over with him. Now you're trying to bleach the man clothes. Really, Liz? Did you feel good? You lucky you ain't get beat down. Two against Nikki, um, the daughter, Gabby, and the um and the other girl we saw. You lucky y'all ain't get beat down in that darn fashion show. 
And Shay, I know you can fight. I think I know you can fight. I ain't never seen you in action. All I ever seen you do is throw shit and talk shit with your mouth. So I don't know if you can fight or what not have you. But yeah, like you can fight. But your ass got embarrassed tonight, though. You got a two-for-one special. You might have won that first one, but you got your ass whooped in that second one. So... Val, Aliz, I don't know what the fuck you was doing. After you kicked him out and embarrassed him on his motorcycle, talking about getting his clothes, throwing them all out the window, that should have been done and over with. And I don't know why you wasted your time trying to embarrass him in his own fashion show, and you end up the one getting end up looking like a damn fool. You and Shea Ball, so... I don't know what you was expecting. I thought you was going to go in there and show your ass and thought you was going to get away with it. I don't know what you was thinking, Miss Thing, but okay. You you really thought you and Shep was going to do some big things in there with all them people in there. Um, Lil Nicky, I mean Big Nicky, Lil Nicky. Gabby, I know Prince ain't going to do nothing. That's three against two right there, so... Um, Shay, you might be that bad, but you ain't that goddamn bad to beat no three damn people at no one damn time. So, you might have thought you was going to throw some hands in there and going to beat some asses. You the one got your ass tugged on. So, I hope you embarrassed enough. Now, you'll sit your ass down somewhere and go find you somebody to play with that's going to actually going to love you and not being on a reality TV show getting embarrassed for the second third, fourth time. I done lost count how many times this back you done got embarrassed. So, Michelle Pooch, I don't like you. I I was kind of seeing what I was going to like you. I was playing it by ear saying, let me see do I like her. I'm going to have to watch her a couple of more episodes to see do I like her. I, she might end up winning me. Y'all done end up liking her. So, when we first met you, episode one, I'm finna throw some shit in your mouth that you threw the prince. You said he was too ratchet and ghetto or some other of those lines. You said the prince and you don't hang around his type of crowd. You hang around a more classier based people. I guess Liz and Shay classy. They classy. You calling going to somebody fashion show, somebody job, event, Throwing bleach clothes that she didn't bleach, going throwing them over the runway on the runway. That's classy to you. And then on top of it, Shay was going to meet Mint Chocolate, and well, she didn't know she was going to see Mint Chocolate just yet, cause she didn't even know the girl at night. She doesn't knew her as Mint Chocolate, cause that's the ice cream she threw on the girl forehead. So she didn't know nothing about she was going to see that girl, but she was going just to be messy to help you out, cause she didn't know you, but she was going to help you out, and end up running into Mint Mint Chocolate. So. Um, I guess Shangin, um, Liz, your type of crowd. Oh, now you worrying about your job. Oh, now you worrying about your career. You weren't worrying about your motherfucking career or your motherfucking job when you went up there and told them at that spa, wherever the fuck you was, talking about pampering. You told them about the vent. You were meant to be messy. You got messy, and now you got embarrassed. I hope them people knew they was with you, but you can get you a little bit embarrassed, man, because you invited them girls that you told them about the vent. They didn't know shit about the event. You told them that you took them there, and then you're going to have the nerves to tell them, oh, y'all y'all be careful. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Think about y'all careers. Think about y'all jobs. How you going to tell these people to think about all this and bitch, you brung them down there? Michelle Pooch, I lost all respect for you. I I, I really have. I, I was trying to root for you and cheer for you. I didn't know I wasn't gonna like you. I was still you was on the fence with me. Now you done, you now you didn't feel off the fence with me, and I cannot and I will not with you, Michelle Pooch. So let's move this along now. Um, now that I ain't got all of that out the way, this gay triangle. Or four angle or rectangle or whatever the fuck we calling it. It's getting messier and messier by the second. And this the one time I can say 
Bobby, I thought I'd never see it for you, and I thought I would never like you. You annoyed the fuck out of me the first two episodes, or the first one, or the first episode, I thought I would never see it for you. But this time, I actually feel sorry for you, and you have every right to do your t loud talking, you going all that scream, hell, throw some shit, hell, bust them across the head. I'm all for your crazy and your extra, extra, and the extra is now. I'm all for you and your extra right along now, cause he cheating on you. He love you, but he still playing with his first love, his ex. Don't know what he want to do. He want to play the fence and stay in the middle. And whichever side he fall on, that's the one he going to go home with, I'm guessing. And for what we hear and what, I can, what I'm gathering is, you basically supporting him. Without him, he probably will be homeless. Um, he ain't got no money for what you can do, what you said about that bag. So, you best just supporting him, giving him free room and board in your body. And this is the way he treats you with his first love. And Malik, you rolled me the wrong way. We know there's different types of um gay people, but you did not have to say that elf word. Just being serious and real with you, though. And I'm glad you kind of felt some type of way after Malik said that said the elf word. I'm glad you felt some type of way and said he's still insecure with himself for saying that, because you know anybody, they're not just going to say that word. And for him to say it out and didn't say, ooh, I'm sorry, or ooh, my man, he meant every word in it, talking about some, what type of gays you like. I'm just trying to see out what kind, trying to feel out what kind of man you like. So why did you say the F word did it? You were trying to feel out. There was another word to say besides the F word. You know what you was doing. You was being messy. That's probably why you contacted him and why you probably got that man head stirred up Why he right here cheating on Bobby, the man not supporting him. So after the night, Malik, you get what you deserve, and I don't like you neither, and you can tell that you doing this just to be messy, and you know you got a pull on this man, because you know you found out you was gay, of course, Jeff was your first love, you using them same feelings and them same emotions that y'all had when y'all was dating when y'all was in the closet, trying to pull that man back, knowing damn where that man getting supported. If you want to want you go ahead and support, I'm pretty sure Bobby will appreciate you and all that. That's what taking him off his hand and Bobby, if you really is supporting him, that means you a damn fool. If he ain't married to you and you supporting him, room and board in your body, well, the body thing, that'll come with dating, but room and board and feeding him, putting gas in his car if he ain't riding no bicycle. If you doing all that for him and he broke and he laid up in your room, laid up in your whatever you got, house, condo, whatever, and cheating on you with his first love, and um, Jeff ain't even my story that you called it. Cause it was kind of funny. And if you ever notice, a cheater always tell on their damn self. Like, um, Jeff, I'm going to give you a benefit of a doubt and say you got a car. Or I'm pretty sure you got friends that that bad could have stayed at somebody else's house. Now, why would you hide the now, you know you dating the man. You know you dating the um, Bobby. You know he gay. Most gay men like fashion. So, of course, he probably going to be in his closet more than he be anywhere else. You can find a way else to hide that damn bag. The closet, really? Where you been in and where you still at the closet? Really? The closet? You can find no... Um, hell, the bathroom or a closet that nobody used. You can find no clo a dresser, a closet, anywhere except where he. You get what you deserve, Jeff, and I ain't got nothing for you neither because you know what the fuck you was doing and Malik basically playing you 
And he basically using his first feelings love for you when he first, when y'all first fell in love and all that. He using that against you and running with it. And you basically listen and allow him to do this to you. So, and this is the first time I can say I actually feel bad for Bobby now that he getting played like this on national TV and it ain't even much worth it. So, yeah, I feel bad for him and all that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Amara, I see you ain't really got no friends when it come to Miami. I think you really need to go find you some old friends. I mean, really. Steph, I was holding out to you. I was holding out maybe I was going to like you because I kind of didn't like your ass neither. Veronica was already a clear verdict when I seen her love old face ass that I wasn't going to like that dog face. I said, mm -mm, not going to like Veronica. Nope, not going to like her. I don't like her. She come off as stinking arrogant to me and she got a mouth on her and I knew I wasn't going to like her and I knew this whole young Hollywood that won't get between them. Not only getting between Veronica and Amara, not damn still L. Mm -hmm. Amara, go find you some new friends because these hoes ain't none of your friends. Veronica, damn sure ain't none of your friend for having that man pop up like she did at that girl event. Then on top of it, she's still not there talking to you. You can't the talk to her to express how you feel. She basically blame you for you and her being, well, well, she basically blame you for you being the friend, bringing out, baby, clearing the air, like talking or whatever. Like, she basically blamed you. For like what friends normally do. Talk like I'm having problem with this. Can you help me out? Like, hey friend, I need this. Can you help me do this? She basically blaming you for blaming this today, though stuff. Talking about saying you burn the shit to my door stuff. You came to me crying, messing up my photo shoot. Well, she supposed to say sorry for that. That's what friends for. If a friend ain't there to help you get to your shit and help you come up with a solution or can't help you out to give you some type of advice, what the hell kind of friend is you? So basically, you blaming Amara for, bring, for bringing this to your doorstep. Really? Really, fat face? Really? Okay, Veronica. And Steph, you ain't no better than she is. Cause now that you doing it, and good thing Amari did not come. I'm glad when they I'm glad when they did show Steph. I'm saying that she said that um Amari didn't come. Cause she flaked out and didn't come. That was a good time for Amara not to come. Cause the bullshit that you did, Steph, now you working for this same fucker. You working for this same fucker. Not only that, now you working behind him with Veronica back and Veronica was trying or pursuing something with him and now she feels on top of way because now you working with him, talking about working with him, um, signing the contract with him. So, so ain't now one of you bitches good then, huh? Ain't now one of y'all ain't shit. You got this one up here talking about some... I, I, he talking about some... If, I'll apologize if you go on a date with me. Then we got this one so thirsty for a, a contract for a, with a um, record label. She wouldn't uh, say fuck her friendship, this business, and I'm going to work with him because I, I'm going to work with him for I can get me a contract and basically make some money off of Young Hollywood behind Veronica bag. So ain't now one of you bitches good. JoJo, I love you. I love, 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 love you. I'm glad you did the right thing when when um Amara name came up and what Young Hollywood said about Amara. I'm glad JoJo you said I'm free to go because I don't like y'all sitting up here bashing my home girl. So I'm free to go. Y'all have a good night. With any other friend or somebody on trying to get this person to say like. I ain't finna sit around here, around here and let y'all sit up here and bash this girl. Like, I'm trying to get to know her, or I know her, or I like her style, and I like her enough to not sit here in this damn room and let y'all sit here and dog this girl out. You got another thing coming. I'm not finna sit here and uh, You did the right thing, JoJo, and I'm proud of you for that. Oh, my gosh. Fits a flat, tip drill, gunplay, trick daddy, 
and Trina and Joy. Let's go ahead and knock that on out the hell out because I'm over it. So, I'm guessing you're a lesbian, not Kiara. Congratulations. Because you acting like you lacking this attention um, tip drill giving you or Miami tip. You lacking this attention she giving you. And you talking about some you playing the game trying to make him jealous. That ain't going to do nothing but turn a man on playing with another woman. I hope you realize that. I don't know. Like he said, I don't know if you trying to turn me off or turn me on. Or we still confused of what the fuck you was doing at that music video trying to shake your fits of flag. You wasn't doing up but just moving your damn, your Damn, moving that fist, moving that fist flat round in your ass. So what was you doing that any other girl with a big ass could have done? Probably could have done way better job than you. You want doing up by moving fist flat round in your ass? Wow, that's a talent. So what you think you was doing? Why was you even there messing with Miami Tip anyways? Why would you say you want to have fun and I'm going to have fun and he ain't the only one that can have fun, have fun in Miami? So you doing this, calling yourself, trying to get back at him, not knowing you didn't turn that man on because he can possibly say, oh, I can get a threesome out of this, not knowing he can get both of you two idiots together that possibly have a threesome and look like you'll be down with it if Miami Tip talk your dumb ass into doing it because you did a hard damn, um, hard damn music video. Really? Kiara, I am done with you. You and your fifth of flags. Uh, don't even much waste your time with that. Uh, don't even much get mad at that matter of fact. Matter of fact um... Um, gunplay. You all end up getting them sooner or later having a threesome. Don't even much worry about that and don't even much worry your little head off about it. Trick Daddy and Joy don't know nothing about them. Y'all just need to go ahead and sign them papers. Trick Daddy, if you over her and done with her, you need to go ahead and sign them paper. Somebody need to sign some damn papers and let's not and let's not let this be the whole damn um the whole damn show talking about joining Trick Daddy and this damn divorce that that post have been happening and ain't happening yet because ain't nobody man enough or woman enough to sign these papers. So I'm not entertaining that and I'm not staying on that too long about that because I don't know the backstory you done. I don't. Care to know the back story of it, so that's about all I got to talk about, y'all. Don't forget to um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.